Well, hello everyone, the Interior Gardener here back with another modding plate up guide. Today's guide, we're going to be talking about the plate up prep ghost. Basically, you turn it on or you turn it off. If you have it off, it basically sets everything back the way it was in terms of moving. If you have it turned on, what that means is during your prep phase, which technically we're in prep phase, you can walk through everything. You can walk through the walls, you can walk through items, you can hold items and walk through them. Looks like I have to take that with me because for some reason I picked it up by accident. We'll take that with because I'd rather take that with. Let's jump into a game and I'll show you exactly how this works. I picked Sal and Alpine. The, the maps are relevant for this. So basically here we are. So before, remember, you had to kind of, if you had this, you had to kind of move it. But guess what? You can just run through everything. So it's a lot easier to set up. Say you want to set up your restaurant, you know, kind of your typical, one of my typical styles would be something like this. And then I'd grab this one over here and it's like, okay, well, guess what? I blocked off the door now. So how do I get through there? What is this one? Oh, that's the microwave brought in. So we'll ignore that. Well, guess what? You just walk right through the wall. You could sit. So for setting up auto, like crazy automation stuff back in here or up in here in between prep days, instead of having to move this around, move this around. Let's just do that just for <laughs> continuity's sake. You can prep through things. So we're right now technically in prep phase. If you go into practice mode, this goes away because it is just for prep mode. See, I can't go through anything here. I can't carry anything anywhere because we are not in prep phase. We are in practice mode. So it's a very good mod. It's very, it's a very simple one. Basically, allows you to maneuver yourself. If you walk outside the limits, it will spawn you. Oi! Doesn't spawn you back to the front. It used to spawn you back to the front of a restaurant, but now it does not do that. So you gotta be a little bit careful about where you go because you can't drop items anywhere out here. You see, won't let me drop an item out here. The only place you can still drop items is going to be out in front of your restaurant. That's the only place where you can um, drop items, but you can phase through everything. So setting up automation runs really is really helpful for this. Or if you have a kind of compact table layout and you're like oh no the door's here so i gotta move the table go out to get stuff out here then come back then put the table back then fix the seats again this mod allows you to basically ignore all of that it's during prep phase only but to me it's a very good mod head over to the steam the plate up steam workshop and download is called prep ghost and it'll allow you to it won't make you a ghost i'm just a ghost because of i've had this kind of skin since the Halloween update. It was make you a ghost in the sense that you can walk through everything, which is super, super handy between your runs to access the envelopes, you know, the blueprints that spawn outside or inside, move things around without having to get stuck and get frustrated with having to redo an automation line because you have to move 10 things. Now you have to move nothing. You pick it up, you walk through where you want to walk through it, you place it down and you head back and there you go. Pretty simple, but a very powerful mod. Probably one of my most favorite ones that are available now on the workshop. So head over to the Steam Workshop. The link will be in the description below to check out all the current and up-to-date mods that are available for Plate Up. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a, a uh, excuse me, please consider leaving a, leaving a like as well as a comment. Do you like a mod like this? I think it's one of my favorite top two or top three for sure of what's available now. And if you're enjoying this, content or this you know kind of modding series please consider leaving us a subscribe would be much appreciated and i'll catch you guys in the next played up modding guide take care now